My friend, um, Xunhua, would like to come up and um, tell you about her interesting new book. She came out with a book called uh, NFC Defi or NFC Explained, and she's got a 2.0 version. I think she's added me. She said something about me in her new book, I think. Yeah. Uh, Take I it away. Just released my second edition of Everyday NFC, Near Field Communication Explained. So Carl gave you a lot of information. This book actually plain English explained all of the fundamentals. And here is a chip here. So if you uh, tap this uh, NFC tag, you will get into my Amazon page, others page. And I have three books to give away today. And uh, uh, oh, look at that! There we go. Took a little bit of pressing, but it brings me to your page. Oh, I had to hand uh, correct a couple of the mistakes here in the book because this was released uh, ten days ago. So after I got the Apple Pay, um, I released my book again. But for the one I have, I have to hand correct it. So uh, for Carl talking about the hybrid phone with hybrid wallet, I respectfully disagree. <gasps> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, We're because um, oh. when I use Apple Pay, it's just surprisingly easy. The good user experience, I think, will really be a game changer. Um, I used the soft cards from the very beginning, and people just don't know about it. But even now, they, after six months, they claim they have 20,000 people signed up every day. So they start to pick up, people start to pick up the knowledge and started to use it. But you have to go in to, uh, I have my Android devices is there. So you have to go in to pick up the app, soft car. Then you have to type in your pins. And then you have to scroll down and then to pay. For Apple Pay, is, is uh, Touch ID integrated with in-app uh, passbook. So all you need to do is you loaded your credit card in the passbook. The first one you loaded is your default card. And uh, you, reach your, you reach your iPhone to any terminals, NFC enabled terminals, and put your Touch ID here. And then it will just pay. It's very um, seamless user experience. I think just because of that, it's going to really um, promote the NFC technology. Would you like to um, give one of these books away by? by yeah, I, I have three books. I can't but, give it away. But, but do you have a, a question um, that you want to ask the crowd to, you know, let's make this a little interesting. And Aaron can join too, right? So. OK. Well, what, well, why don't you, I won't, I, I don't, you okay, gave me so, one. OK, so uh, I have a question, since Carl gave you so much information. So there are three different kind of NFC mobile payment, major three different kinds. Who knows uh, which three is that? Oh, you mean the modes? Oh, yes. Okay. Who's got the tab? OK, single tab is for HCE. And what are two other kind? Anybody want to hazard a guess? With soft card, what technology we use for secure element, secure element where? On the, chip. on the chip, on the SIM card. And then what's the third kind? That's what Apple use. Embedded. embedded. So what I heard embedded is embedded in the jacket here. That's why you can't use uh, well, there you go. aluminum. You got your one, two, three yeah, I got right my there. Three-part three answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, right. Is there anything else you want to say about your book and about your your, your you know what your what your plans are next? Um, you work for AT and T, is that right? I used to. Uh -huh. Okay, good, because we might have to kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> when I worked for AT and T, I was on uh, NFC project, and then I quit AT and T. Um, when I tried to ramp up my own consulting company, I started to write this book. I have a lot of passion towards NFC technology. I think it really helps marketing and uh, to the end I think it really helped the big data scenario so when we have started to collect data from all of the NFC tabs we can create a lot of opportunity for businesses also for to help people out for emergency situation or for um, for anything um, you know big data 
can come up with the uh, case for. Uh, there are many applications for NFC that we simply haven't seen yet. If you go to Europe and to France especially, uh, and even in Asia, the J Japan, South Korea, you'll see many applications you never imagined that are going on there that they're using. It's, it's just, it's truly, uh, it's truly amazing the difference between how little we do here and, and how much is going on in some European and Asian countries. It's just amazing. Yes, yeah, when Coca-Cola started to use soft car, they, they did a promotion and uh, they actually collect data. It, one is by NFC, another one is by QR code. And through Q NFC, they can figure it out what devices you use and what OS model you use and uh, what uh, the frequency versus QR code. So they can do analysis and then meet their customers' needs much better in that way. And for developers, NFC form, they just started a developer program and uh, it's called uh, tapintonfc.org. So that's a brand new program. If you are interested, check that out. They also started a page just for product showcase, which actually was my business idea, but they already started to do it. Get so, some back royalties from AT&T. Yeah, so I have a, a, a website called Everyday NFC. If you follow me with my name, then Xuan Hua Qian, then you can get most of the NFC news.